A recent lawsuit means some New Mexico ski areas could see changes, including a new activity. KOAT Action 7 News anchor Angela Brower shows us what that means for our state. Imagine riding this. At Angel Fire, Taos, even Ski Apache. Well, soon something like this could go from dream to reality here in the land of enchantment. Without really getting into the nitty gritty, there was a recent lawsuit that ruled U.S. forest lands can do more with their space, specifically install things called alpine coasters, which opens up a group of uh, opportunities for ski areas in New Mexico as well. Those opportunities, according to Ski New Mexico's executive director, George Brooks, a summer activity that would boost tourism and in turn generate revenue. The ski industry for a long time has built tremendous investments in the mountains. They've spent millions and millions of dollars on the lifts, uh, restaurants, restrooms, hotels, condos, etc. And they sit dormant for the most part, or very underutilized. Brooks says Sandia Peak is actually one of the locations that would probably most benefit from this. It's no secret that this area has struggled in past years with both winter and summer activities. I understand that if they do want it at Sandia Peak, <clears throat> it will be accessed by the tram and it will go down to the first lift. There is some talk amongst different resorts about installing these coasters. No confirmation that any are in the works. I'm Angela Brower, KYT, Action 7 News. Brooks says if ski areas were to consider implementing other activities like this, it would also open up new job opportunities.